When it comes to ranking for competitive SEO terms, we always look for a way to get an edge. One of the biggest areas that's always neglected is how to name an image. Here's the proper steps to do so. So I'm over on unsplash.com. I'm just gonna grab any image. Let's grab this one and download. Now the two important steps are renaming and resizing. It really doesn't matter which order you do it in, but as long as you rename it and resize it appropriately, you're gonna be in a good situation. So for this tutorial, we're gonna rename the image first. This one is called William-Thomas with a bunch of numbers and letters. When renaming this, the three things we want to do is be descriptive of the image in five words or less. We want to use hyphens, and we do not want to stuff keywords in this. So I would recommend we call this Canon Camera 135 millimeter. Five words or less describes exactly what it is. We used hyphens, we didn't use underscores, and we did not stuff keywords in here of other things like our brand. Next, let's go to photopia.com and actually drag the image in. We'll go to image, image size, and we should put in the exact dimensions of the space that we have on the website. I'm first gonna adjust the width, then I'm gonna adjust the canvas to the exact sizing that we need. And then we can export this as a PNG or any other file type. I'm gonna keep quality at 100 right now because we're gonna compress it again in a different way. One more step, we wanna to go to imagecompressor.com and then drag the image in that we just exported from Photopea and it's gonna compress it a little bit more. So now it's down 85% and now we can download and use this image. One quick note is that image compressor actually adds this dash min on it for making it very minimal. Uh, we're gonna actually delete that and go back to our original naming convention and upload the image that way. One bonus tip is if you're using WordPress, drag the image into your media library, click on it, and then actually put in the alternative text there and you can use the exact same naming convention. However, take out the hyphens. So it can be descriptive, you don't need it, and then it'll save Google will be able to look at this. And this certainly helps a lot when it comes to accessibility and anyone that's visually impaired as this is gonna describe the images that go on the screen for them.